la la. <laughs> Woo. Michael, you do on stage in five minutes. What the? Hey, Michael, what are you doing with that hose? No, that's ignorant. You're, you're being ignorant. Look, when I said it would improve your image if you brought more hose backstage, this is not what I meant. Hey guys, today we're looking at this Michael Pro 90 degree hose clamp plier. I grabbed this for $13.99 on an Amazon Black Friday deal. It looks suspiciously like this $60 tool from Mayhew. Now, I don't know if they're the same tool or not, but they do look mighty similar. This has a vice grip style locking mechanism. This lever here is the release mechanism. It's also got the stendo, so you can increase the opening of the jaws for larger clamps. The jaws feature a waffle tooth pattern to grip onto the clamps. On mine, there are some machining issues on the lower jaw. Doesn't look like it should affect the functionality though. The upper jaw appears to be cast and not machined. These are for the spring style hose clamps. I have both the flat style and the round wire style here we can test with. Let's try out the flat style first. Here I'm adjusting the height of the jaws so it will fit. Then you want to make sure the tabs of the clamp are engaging with those waffle teeth on the tool. Now we'll clamp it down and see how it's holding. Seems to be holding pretty secure. I did notice the jaws got a little bit crooked. There is quite a bit of play in them. Now it's possible this is done on purpose, because those waffle teeth are never going to be perfectly lined up to grab the tabs on every single style of clamp. They might have put that play in there deliberately to kind of allow it to self-adjust. You can see this a little bit better on the wire style clamp. The positioning of those wires is never going to line up perfectly with those waffle teeth. So I think it has to be able to twist a little bit. I don't know. Next, I tried using it to install a clamp onto a hose. I noticed here that you have to make sure that that loop part on the wire clamp is being grabbed by a tooth, or it can slip off pretty easily. Now when you have that engaging on two teeth, then it's rock solid. I can see this being an issue when you're working in a tight spot. I was hoping to be able to use this on lower radiator hoses where you can't get a regular set of pliers. Now you're also not going to be able to see what's going on down there, so it might be trial and error to get the clamp locked on. Normally I use that cable operated style clamp on those, which is also a royal pain to get set up, so it's probably a wash as to which one is better. At $13.99, I'm glad I picked this up. Now, they've since raised the price on these to $35, which I guess is still around 40% cheaper than the Mayhew. So it might be worth that if you're working with these clamps on a regular basis. I'm curious if anyone out there has the Mayhew version. Does the Mayhew also have that play in the jaws? With some of these cheap tools, you can never tell if it's a design feature or a bug. <laughs> That's all I got for today. I do want to do a hose clamp pliers compilation video sometime in the future. This was the one style that I was missing. Thanks everybody for watching. See you later. Bye.